Hey guys, welcome to the Resident Evil 2 Remake Review. So, personally for me, Resident Evil 2 was the first horror game I actually kind of got really into. I believe I was around, I'm not 100% sure, I mean I might be wrong by a couple of years this way or that way, but I think I was around 13, 13 years old, I would like to say, 14 years old, something like that. And um, at the time, I had a Super Nintendo, but a friend of mine had a PlayStation, and um, I played Resident Evil 2 on that. And I gotta tell you, man, I had played Resident Evil 1 also. There was just something about Resident Evil 2 that was more you know it was just more compared to Resident Evil 1 now with that said let's get into this remake so immediately you noticed one thing clearly whereas we're used to getting remastered games I think to get a true remake like this this should kill all the remaster BS okay there's no more excuses if you can make something like this as a remake then your remaster better be like at least 50% of this compared to the original Resident Evil 2 cause this is like not even night and day this is like another dimension I mean this is something that I would pay full price any day of the week if I had never played a Resident Evil game before and I had no idea I would just be like whoa what is this game you know but instead no this is the good old Resident Evil 2 and it's being made again from the ground up no shortcuts everything is excellent I have to say um, of course I have my own little complaints but that's just mainly because the game is unforgiven that's just a fact now if you have played the old Resident Evil games I'm talking about 1, 2 Nemesis which is the third I believe and so on I mean look at this do you see this? That's scary shit, man. <laughs> That's some scary shit. Anyway, if you have played the old games, then you know that it's not like, let's say, 5 and 6. You know, Revelations, where you have just ammo shitting all over the place. You know, you're just ramboing your way through the zombies. No. In the old games, the zombies, they were slow. And there was not much ammo so you had to think do you wanna run past the zombie or do you wanna waste your ammo so so that's it and um, like you heard just there from my reaction when I was streaming this clip there's some real genuine there like I just said so <laughs> there's some real anxiety going on when you're going with your flashlight in these dark rooms and on top of that you know there's the puzzles uh, like usual now there's one thing to keep in mind that you always want to get the map get the map and just look at the map if a room is red there's still things to do there but if the room is blue you've done pretty much everything that there was to do in that room now of course there's the over the shoulder view for shooting which is good it's been updated and um, that's just one of the things that I like to bring out that when they remade this game they kept all the good stuff from the original and then they updated everything else and uh, 
it's a mix that really works and I think like I said in the beginning of this review anyone making even a remastered game should make half as good you know result as these guys have done here and um, for someone who really doesn't have too much in sense of good words to say about Capcom I have to say wow like I wanna take my hat off to them so maybe this is a change in course for them and Resident Evil has always been one of their strongest uh, series but with 5 and 6 I was getting a little bit worried there but um, I have to say I'm not all that worried anymore because we saw what they did with the biohazard and with this well I guess that was kind of like a relaunch of the series and now having this and from what I hear they're doing Resident Evil Nemesis the same way that they did Resident Evil 2 this is all good I like that now on top of conserving your ammo in this game you also have to conserve health items so when you run you have to really you know know what you're doing because if they grab you even if you don't shoot and you get out of the room and you get bitten a couple of times you need to use health items and then by the time you get to a boss you might not have anything and <laughs> I like to listen to my commentary on these on these clips as you can see I always had fun when I was playing this game even when I was truly shitting myself I still uh, had fun I always had fun so anyhow um, to go forward with the review if you are a friend of the horror genre you cannot skip this game you have to get this game you definitely need to get this game if you are a fan of the Resident Evil series you most definitely need to get this game now for everybody else you should try the game I'll put it this way you don't need to get it because this might not be the kind of game for you but try it and I believe a lot of those people will enjoy it but the old school Resident Evil games are the kind of games where you really you know you, you don't know a lot about what's going on and you need to figure things out by yourself on the bright side now there's, there's YouTube so you can just you know whenever you're stuck check where you're stuck and um, just google your way out of there we didn't have this like 20 years ago this option and um, that should make the game more accessible to new players on top of all the changes that they've made with that said one of the things that will make the game a lot easier is that if you play on easy or normal there will not be ink ribbons now for those who know what ink ribbons are those were kind of like the saving system in the game and they were limited but now they have taken the ink ribbons out except I believe on the hardcore mode which is I guess the hard mode and um, other than that there are no ink ribbons so you can save as much as you want which will really take some of the anxiety out <laughs> I have to say so on top of that the voice acting is really great and as you can see the graphics are just I don't know if I'm overdoing it by saying breathtaking but this is some of the best graphics I have seen if not the best but definitely like one of the best when it comes to graphics that I have seen this generation I mean before you were maybe used to seeing stuff like this on PC but now like on a PS4, PS4 Pro, Xbox <laughs> can't come here can you you stupid fucking stupid AI motherfucker now 
there is this part which I found funny so there are really small things that I have to complain about like this was one of them but other than that the AI is really good the way they move it makes it so hard to aim at their head and um, the enemies they've changed some but I like the changes the puzzles they changed some but I like the changes compared to the original and um, other than that the inventory system and stuff like that is quite the same the guns you know the map quite the same so if you have played the original and you don't remember much I think you will start remembering you know bits from here and there as you play but as always as we're coming to the worst end of the review I would like to say that this is really good if you have played the later Resident Evil's to get a little bit of you know inside of how Leon's and Claire's story got started in the Resident Evil saga so pick this game up if you feel like this is your kind of game from me this is a new benchmark on remakes and remasters so I'm gonna give this game a 9.8 out of 10 enjoy it thank you bye